you know what? I did Sonic vs. Mario, but what about Sonic vs. Eggman? Eggman, of course, yes, the all know is the villain of Sonic Hedgehog. Eggman, of course, will be against. He would be... Well, Sonic would be, um, kind of more in the Greens party, um... Uh, because he loves animals, and he's an animal himself, so... But Eggman would probably be, um, more of a, um... Definitely a dictator who wants to... Uh, and those people who like technology and who love space and stuff would love Eggman as a candidate because he is crazy. Um, he is a very crazy person, so who would win? Uh, Eggman or Sonic? So this would be... Okay, so let's do the safe states. Eggman will be winning as a Republican and Sonic will be winning as a Democrat, so... Eggman would win all these states here, um, but the problem is, Sonic Eggman would be, would piss off the working class because he has four automation, so, this is a pretty interesting one, um, you will see, we're keeping a blank this time because, a Twitter's little bread and blue state will not matter for this election, probably might even flip because of this, so, Sonic would probably campaign on the opposite of Eggman, making Sonic win traditional red states because Eggman is a basically a corporate. He is just for companies, so board stop by um Washington State. There's a lot of corporate people there, a lot of businesses. Um Sonic would be more for the big corporations instead of the farmers. Um, Eggman, of course, is a corporate guy himself. So Washington State, Oregon will be easy, easy wins in California. California's or Silicon Valley is Calif Eggman has no chance of losing that state. No, Eggman's a Republican, not a Democrat. It'll be the first time in years a Republican Dr. Eggman has won states like Hawaii, no, Washington, Oregon, and California because Eggman is kind of more, kind of leans more on the Democrat side, but Sonic already has been won as a Democrat, so Eggman, of course, won as a Republican. He's not really a Republican, he's a rhino, basically. He's the biggest rhino you can possibly have. Um. Eggman would be for the oil companies and stuff. Um, Arkansas would be a clear win for Eggman because oil companies would probably support him. Hawaii would go for Sonic. Easy there. Um, Sonic is a hedgehog. Nevada, a lot of casinos. Eggman be a pretty hard one, but I think Sonic would easily probably win heads out in that one as well. Arizona, a lot of old people. It's yeah, similar to Eggman AIDS, so Eggman could probably, would probably lose the state. So the first time in history a Democrat would win in Arizona. Um, Eggman, a lot of environmentalists with their Utah. Eggman's very against religion, so they'll probably just, they'll be a third party candidate making Sonic win. Same thing with Idaho. Um, Idaho, a lot of the farmers would vote against Eggman. Same thing with Montana. Montana would probably vote against Eggman. Wyoming will probably vote against Eggman as well, as they know that they see him as not a real Republican. Uh, they see him as just another Democrat, so. And there'll be a third party, too. Um, Colorado, um, that'll snatch up a lot of the votes. Colorado would probably go for Eggman's column. Um, Eggman will probably support weeds that he loves, since he'll support um, that stuff. Um, a lot of businesses are there too. New Mexico will probably go for Sonic's column. Um, don't see it's a lot, very low state. Same thing on North Dakota. For the first time in hundreds of years, the party is switched because of Eggman. Um, Eggman, of course, heavily against the farmers and stuff. Being more for automation, making these states be easy, easy, easy Sonic states. So I put Sonic at 66 against Eggman's 86. Eggman would win Texas by a swift margin. 
Um, don't see there's a lot of corporations and companies and cities in Texas, so it's basically be all the big cities of both force Eggman keeping Sonic Eggman slightly ahead of Sonic and Alex and Dow. Save in Minnesota and Wisconsin. A lot of companies and these states here. All these states all these Midwestern states, all the coal and iron companies are like Dow and Illinois, Chicago, um Indiana would be a tilt for Sonic um, in this election. Missouri, um, Missouri is mostly farmers, so farmers would probably vote for Sonic, as they would rather vote for someone like Sonic over some guy who only cares about money, like Eggman. Eggman is different from Donald Trump, okay? Donald Trump actually was like talking to the worker class. Eggman would be similar to Andrew Yang, Okay, he'll be similar to a Bernie type candidate, to be honest. So, let's say Arizona would flip probably on um, the Eggman's column too. Um, but some a Bernie like candidate would not win in the South. Minorities would vote for him, but um, yeah, these states um are not are not Bernie states. Eggman is not a Bernie like candidate, so these states are instantly lost in favor of Sonic, a hedgehog. So all these states are instantly lost. West Virginia will vote for Eggman because of all the coal companies in West Virginia. Same thing with Pennsylvania. Um, all those establishment Democrats will not come out for a Eggman type candidate, but he would still win by a slight margin, same thing in Florida, since he is basically very, very for the economy, making Eggman win the election. Um, Eggman would win in New York, and New Jersey, a lot of companies would support him by a very, very big margin in the, in states like Pennsylvania and New York. Um, DC would still vote for Sonic, um, don't see him not. Maryland would vote for Sonic for the first, would vote for Eggman. Delaware would vote for Sonic. And now let's have the Northeast, uh, Maine's. Maine at Wars would go for Eggman. Maine's first district, Maine's second district, the more conservative district would vote for Sonic. Even though Sonic's not really conservative at all, um, the third party would imbalance the votes, making Eggman win most of these states. So. Rhode Island would go to Sonic. Massachusetts would go to Sonic. Would barely win by Sonic's column. Connecticut would um, go for Eggman was similar to Bernie, so he would win these states. So Eggman, we, oh, we have almost state North Carolina. North Carolina, don't see Eggman winning that state. So that's the Sonic versus Dr. Eggman presidential election. It was a pretty unique or interesting one. Eggman wins by three four three because of a four party candidate. Um the elections were so close in certain states that Eggman wins and most of them. And Sonic basically wins in the majority now. A conservative candidate would probably four party candidate would probably um Well really happen a conservative nationalist would we'll probably take both of these southern states. And the conservative nationalists would also win would win most of these southern states. So basically Sonic would win in ninety five electoral votes. Not that much, but it's a swim margin. Um Eggman would win the votes that he got. Um and that's basically it. Eggman would probably win. A lot of the workers would probably vote for him anyways. And a lot of the farmers would in the in these states and the religious folk. <laughs> would probably vote against it. Um Eggman could have a true ranch for IDL.
Sorry, stay to win and swipe margins for Sonic. So the full party will take some votes mostly in the south. And Utah, because the religious people, the corporate the corporate people will both vote in West Virginia and favor for Eggman. But a lot of these religious southerners would vote against a candidate like Sonic. So the final tally is 63 40 for a party candidate, 353 for Eggman, um, and 122 for Sonic the Hedgehog, making Dr. Eggman win the election for real, and it will be the biggest change in the elect and state and state party royalty, and the prize will practically um flip again. Um, corporate SP, corporate globalists and workers are both. Full for Eggman because Eggman's all about the profit, the money. Um, he's all about the businesses, big, small, and kind of like Trump, but much more can appeal towards both sides. Either the capital immigration and all that stuff. He's really more for um space travel, technology development, and basically doing whatever they can to increase the economy at any kind, at any point. So Eggman will basically just take over America by an election. Um, he doesn't need to use force if he can just appeal towards enough people and Sonic would lose by a big margin.